Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon. It's the late edition of Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, Tuesday, June 15th. Had a crazy day today, so the Mineral Vlog is coming late. Late edition, late bulletin. I'll tell you why. Among the many things that made this morning a little bit nutty, um, had to bring my cat in to the vet. She's fine. A annual checkup that's now like... April, May, June, uh, you know, so well over a year. Uh, you know, we like to bring her in once a year. And um, I goofed up. 100% my fault. The cat is lovable. The cat lets you pick her up. You could put her, you know, flop around with her all day. The minute she gets a sense that she's going in the cat case, forget it. It's World War Three, and it's always been a problem. Traveling with our cat is difficult. So my wife and I had a strategy that we've done before. I won't get into the specifics, but I goofed up. I left the door open. Totally my fault. We had her in the case. We had her in the friggin' case. And I was zipping and her tail was coming out. And I didn't want to zip her tail. So like I kind of stopped, pushed her tail in, and that's how she got out. My wife did not, did not you know, uh, she was, you know, we were both upset. She was very good. Uh, she was like, Next time, she'll know to move her tail. I didn't want to hurt her tail, but she's right. The cat will know. So called the vet, postponed it. We're bringing her in um, next time, a couple days from now. And then all kinds of crap. Had to pay my taxes. Interesting I should bring up taxes because today's mineral water on this hot day. By the way, some people have thought that maybe I'm outside because it's dark. That I have a weird looking room here that's actually my living room i am outside here i'm not in, i'm inside not out that um that's the house that's not the, the nighttime it looks dark had a busy day today uh nothing but emails it's 1 at 1 p.m i've been emailing 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 so much email so much email it's f mail that's how much email it is um but i pay my taxes also american taxes uncle sam Lubing it up for Uncle Sam yet again. That's what Uncle Sam does to you on tax day. Estimated quarterly taxes. Um, but, you know, I love this country. You know, I know, I believe that, uh, what's the phrase? Um, uh, patriotism is the last uh, vestige of the damned or something like that. There's an old expression. Patriotism is the last, is the fool. What's the adage? Patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel. Who said it? Samuel Johnson in 1775. Well, that was before America, so go screw. Um, now, there's some truth to that, and I think being overly hold the flag is, uh, is a little bit weird. But also, you know, America, right? I mean, my grandparents were going to get killed if they stayed where they lived, so, uh, and many and their siblings all did. So, uh, America, you know, not as good as all countries, but better than most. That's the God's honest truth. I mean, Denmark's where it's at, but, you know, you go to Denmark, there's 25 people and you got to eat fish all day. But America, American water. We haven't done any American waters on Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, so let's do it up. Boo, 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 doo, 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 doo. Do, 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 An American water for an American vlog. The Mountain Valley, a great American water from Arkansas. Big ups to my Arkansas buddy, Noel. How you doing out there, Noel? Love that guy. I know one person from Arkansas, and I am therefore going to assume that they're all like him. So that makes Arkansas the greatest state because Noel is the best, the friggin' best. Where's his mineral water vlog? I listen to him drink water all day. And his whole family's great too. The, the and I hope that they're having a good night tonight, drinking some of this water. Now this water is very famous, but to be frank, it, it hasn't been that much in the New York market until kinda recently. I think it had more of a foothold in L.A. as far as the bigger markets. Obviously in you know Arkansas and probably throughout the Midwest. But I went on ye olde Wikipedia. And here's what it tells me vis-a-vis -vis America and this. Dig this. 
This is according to Wikipedia, so you know it's true. Every U.S. president since Calvin Coolidge to Bill Clinton served Mountain Valley spring water in the White House. Why did George W. Bush stop? Did did Biden did Biden Biden bring back Mountain View? What's wrong with you, Mountain Valley? We go on. Following a heart attack in 1955, President Dwight Eisenhower, I like Ike, drank the water on the advice of his physician. Of his physician. Period. Other notable connoisseurs included Elvis. Elvis drank this. Are you shitting me? We should all be bathing in it. Boxing champions Joe Lewis, Gene Tunney. I don't know who that is. Is that another boxer? Gene Tunney was a boxer. And Sugar Ray Robinson. Sure. I've heard that name too. Consumption of the water has not been limited to humans. <laughs> Thoroughbreds like Secretariat, Nashua, Kelso, Bold Ruler, and Sunday Science have trained on this spring water. Well, if it's good enough for some dumb horse, it's good enough for you, Secretariat horse racing that's the dumbest thing that's the dumbest friggin thing p allen smith serves mountain spring water in his garden who the hell's p allen smith he's a television host that gets its own i mean eisenhower sure p allen smith gets its own paragraph did p allen smith write this wikipedia entry P. Allen Smith is still... Oh, he's from a Little Rock. All right, okay, all right, all right. Local angle, local angle. My respect to the Arkansanians. I have been in Arkansas for about a minute and a half. I was years ago in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Great city. Been there twice. And one of the two times um, I wasn't driving because I don't... I barely... I don't drive. Uh, technically, I have a license, but I don't drive. Um, uh, and we made... <laughs> this. We made a wrong turn. All right, that sounds really condescending. And I've already established that I have great fondness for the state of Arkansas. Uh, but the truth of the matter is that we made a wrong turn. We went over a bridge and we were in Arkansas and shit, was it red and flat? And I was like, well, I remember it. I, you know, you got to go to the, the, um, uh, the, to Wadi Rum in Jordan to see something so red and flat. Where's my Jordanian water? All right, here we go. Lots of bubbles. Oh shit. Oh shit. Getting on my keyboard. Oh, Crapola. Uh, oh boy. Hoffman's Mineral Vlog just, uh, I gotta get a new laptop. I gotta go full Ehrlich and get you all to pay for a laptop. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do it. Ugh, I made a mess. Let's do it. Lots of bubbles. This ain't no seltzer water. This is since 1871. Mountain Valley spring water. I've had it before, but not for a while. Let's try it. Great stuff. Great stuff. Authentic, classy. You got those mountains. You got those trees. I think of Arkansas. I think of red, flat, and Martian surface for my one time when I went one exit to west in, in Memphis. But I have never been to the Oachita Mountains. And that's where I would assume uh, this image is from. Oachita Mountains in Arkansas. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Noel is from Arkansas, right? Sometimes um, I mistake those states. I had a friend. Uh, she's a very good friend, and she's from Minnesota. And I, like, for years referred to her, oh, how are your folks in Wisconsin? And then one day she's like, I'm from Minnesota. Eventually it stuck, but um, I felt like a dope. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I'm pretty sure. From Arkansas. All right, I had I had lunch already, so I'm not going to drink the whole thing. Great stuff. You can see why it's a success. It's a great American story for a great American day. Um, mineral content wise, it does not have the flavor of yesterday's. I still have the bottle. Uh, our Aqua Carpatica. From yesterday, it had a really remarkable, like a salty flavor, despite the fact that it says no added sodium or no sodium. I don't know how that's true. And of course, uh, nothing's more bitter than Gerald Steiner from, uh, from Germany. But this, oh, um, 
Yeah, it doesn't really have a big flavor. What it has is a lot of sparkle. <laughs> if you want the absence of an aftertaste, uh, then you go with this. Man, I'm sucking it back. This goes down easy. Mmm, great stuff. Let's do the whole thing. Let's just do it. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, the Mountain Valley. What does it say on the back? Refreshing taste. No lie. How is it vis-a-vis, -vis, um, does it say how much magnesium, calcium, potassium, total dissolved solids, and it gives you some numbers, as if anybody knows what that means. Mm. Oh, God, I apologize. But it has here, you know, engraved on the glass, you know, rise. it's got like an old font. Like, it says from 1871. It's not an 1871 font. I don't know if you can see. Um... But it's got like kind of a 50s font. That feels very 50s to me. If I knew more about typography, I could explain. But I just go with my gut. Sometimes I just know. We did it. We're a champion today. And thank you for listening. Tomorrow's going to be great. And... Um, uh, I got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. All right, Hoffman's Mineral Vlog, another exciting chapter. What will tomorrow bring? What nation will we go to? See you then.